Hey, what's up, devs? Today I'm going to show you how to run Jupyter Hub in your local environment within Docker. So, first thing first, go to Jupyter Hub official website, and here install Jupyter Hub with Docker and copy this command line. Then open your terminal, paste and run. It takes a couple of minutes to, to download everything. Once it's downloaded everything, it launches the image automatically. So now let's open our Docker. So here in the Docker container, you can see there is a, a launched instance, this one. So open on it. And then you see here, it's listening localhost port 8000. So let's open our uh, browser and go to localhost 8000. So now it allow you to set username and password. So what is that? So, so now by default, it asks you to log in Docker Hub, Jupyter Hub using your system's credential. So which means is that we need to create a user, a system user within the Docker container. So let's do it. Now let's go back to the Docker desktop application and go to here and type bash. Then you go into the terminal mode and here you can add a user using the command line user add test. Now we are adding a user test and then we set the password to test. It allow me to set a password. So I just type a password to try. Yeah, password set successfully. And then at this point, if we go back to the to Jupyter Hub and fill up the username and password we just set. Oh, it didn't work. Let me see what happened. Mm, so now I already have a username, I have a password. Oh, I need to generate a JupyterHub configuration file. So by default, there's no configuration file here. So let me see how do it. So we just type this command. So JupyterHub dash dash generate config. Yeah. So it will generate a Python file in the current folder. So if we check here. This guy. And then we open it. Oh, VM is not okay, so we need to uh, apt get update. We need to install VM. And at this point we can apt get install VM. Now we are able to edit the file, Jupyter Hub config file. So in this file, we need to add some config. So first thing first, we need to 
add um, may need to add allow user yeah so this so and since those users are not in the system so we need to add another uh, configuration to create those users by default when when we launch Jupyter Hub. And yeah, so let's try that. So now we save and we restart. Yeah, so at this point we go back to the website and then reload. So we just create a user. Let me see what the user we just created. Let's say Zoe. Let's try Zoe. Oh, there's there's no password for that. Let me specify a password for Zoe. Yeah. So go back to here and logging. Yeah. So now it's launching. We just need wait a little bit time to to let the system set up everything. It's almost done. Let's just wait. Oh, it says uh, when failed, didn't response. Okay, let me, let's open the Docker and check. Oh, there is a lot of arrows. Let me see what happened. Didn't finish starting crash. I think the main problem is this. So let me see how to resolve it. Um, it seems like we need to install this package. Let me try. So I'm here and just say pip install. Mm. I think this image uh, miss a lot of uh, like um, core packages. Yeah. So at this point, let me just re reload the service and go to check the log here and I refresh and launch server again. Let's see what happened. Well, now this time it works. So we finally access the Jupyter Hub. So now you can create a notebook and type any like Python code and run it. Also, you can create markdown and run it. Yeah. So that's conclude all the all the things I want to share. Thanks everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe.